Hey guys, welcome back to some nasty tales and friends. It's Ebony and Quinlan. We're going to be reading chapter 2 of Serena the Salt of Fairy. And now we're going back to making more videos at a time. Okay, I hope you love the name Quinlan because it's one of the cutest names. And no subscriber rec uh, recommended it, but let's get reading. Today, Ebony's mommy's not here. But we do have someone behind the scenes, and that's Evan. Hi, everyone, Evan. So, yeah, Evan is my twin. So, yeah, let's get started reading. So far, Serena is in the book Serena the Salsa Fairy. They are missing some ribbons, and Christy and the other girl forgot her name are searching for the the, um, the ribbons that the goblin stole. So if you didn't watch chapter one, I'll give you a link in the um sub in the description down below. Let's start reading. Uh, so um flipping the page, baby read that. You found the page, Ebony? No. Yeah. Okay, you wanna start reading? Yeah. Rita watched closely as the sparkle zipped over the side of the small tent. She turned to tell Christy, but her friend was just off the blindfold and was talking to Lucy. Rachel was worried that she might lose a sight of the sparkle, so she raced around the tent for a closer look. Her heart was Thumping as she turned the corner. Ebony? Then she smiled. It was Serena the Salsa Fairy. Evan, focus. Serena the Salsa Fairy. She was perched on the end of the tent roof. Waving at Rachel, Rachel waved back. With a grin just as Christy came, Around the corner with a handful of candy, Rachel, I picked up tons. Rachel was ex too excited to think about candy. Look, Christy, she whispered, pointing up the tent of the roof. Serena's here. Serena fluttered down the girls and Christy had long black hair and back with a beautiful red rose. Quinlan! The fairy was wearing a red top and a green skirt with gorgeous orange ruffles. The girls had met all the dance fairies on the very first day of the adventure. They recognized Serena right away. Hello, Rachel. Hello, Christy, the fairy said, smiling as she is landing on Christy's shoulder. I'm here to find my ribbon. I've got a strong feeling it's somewhere nearby, and I have to get it back so that all the dancing at the fiesta goes well today. Well... We've been keeping an eye on the for the goblins, but we haven't seen any yet. Ebony, okay, let me flip the page. Oopsie, I skipped some. Okay, let me cheat. Hi guys. There is going to be. Lots of salsa dancers in the parade, Rachel added. The goblin, oopsie guys, sorry the camera just fell. The goblin might be attracted to the salsa music and follow them. Serena's face brightened. Let's try to find the goblin before the parade starts, she suggested. Otherwise, it will be awful. Where are we waiting for? What are we waiting for, Rachel? 
said determinedly, "Let's get out there and find that golden quinlan." Serena hid herself behind Christie's hair. As the girls headed for the starting point of the parade, they arrived to find people rushing around, preparing for the parade to begin. Dancers applied last-minute touches of makeup. Helpers smoothed costumes and checked their hair. Hi, guys. Hi, mommy. Let me hold the pages for you. Ribbons while the sound crews test. Oh, Ebony. Ribbons while the sound crew tested the speakers and microphones. It's hard to spot a goblin when everyone's rushing around like this. Rachel said, "Here are so many people here, and there are so many people here. How many? How are we even going to find him?" Serena was fidgeting on Christie's shoulder. I don't know, but I hope to see him soon. She remarked, "The parade is going to be any minute." The girls searched the crowd. Leading the parade was a group of women, bright, flamens. Flam, flam, flamenco or co, dressed with lots of Quinlan, dressed with lots of ruffles and matching scarlet shoes. The women were followed by gleaming white horses, wearing tall white feathers and golden headdresses. Wow, Christie said, distracted by the sight. They look amazing. Rachel was excl- ex- examining Ebony, examining everyone in search of all a- of a tell tale flash of goblin green. The green was definitely isn't around here. She said for a moment or two. Not unless he is dressed as a horse. Just then, a voice came over in the lodge. We welcome everyone to the Weatherbury Free Asta. Look at the parade begin. Serena and the girls looked at each other in dismay. We're too late, Rachel said. It's starting, and that concludes our chapters. In our next video, we will be reading. Salsa slip ups. I hope you enjoyed our video today, reading Serena the Salsa Fairy by Daisy Meadows, the Rainbow Magic Books, the Dance Fairy section by Scholastic. Thanks for. I hope you enjoyed this video, and this is our third video in 2019. I believe it's the fourth actually. So. Thank you for all your support and our first year of YouTube, but it's not our anniversary yet. So, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe. Share this video with your friends and your family and everyone. Share our channel with you. Share our channel and our video. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell. Ding.